Hey everybody, welcome to RamTV. Welcome back to my MLB, the show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 25. If you guys haven't caught up, look for a place on my channel. And before I get started, um, I just want to let you guys know that I recorded like two episodes worth of, or actually another episode's worth of videos, but for whatever reason, my mic wasn't picking up. It kind of it's upset me, but um, the last game I recorded for you guys was this... Uh, June 26th game we won 9-1 and then I I played this game here we won 2 nothing Wheeler but we are on a what is this on an 8 game winning streak and we're now in July so now our record is 15-36 and now we are tied with the Nationals for first place in the East um, so we have improved so much I'm so happy about how things have turned out and before I get started, because it is June 1st, I'll be talking about my team right now and um, and the league leaders and all the standings and stuff like that. So right now, uh, I got Pete Alonzo. He's actually hurt for about two weeks. He uh, let me go to the oops, to the injured list. We got Pete Alonzo out for two weeks at least. I put him on um, on the DL, uh, 10 day DL, and he's gonna be out for one to two more weeks with an inflamed hip. It was actually during a check swing during the video that I was recording, and then I had to take him out. So I called Dom Smith to fill in for him, and then we got Sesmith out for like a, it's been almost like a week um, of a uh, stomach ache. I don't know what happened there, but he's gonna be out. So I had Carlos Gomez fill in for him in left field. So then, uh, let's see, in terms of lineups, we are gonna fix things a little bit. Put in Gomez here. Let's see what's left field here. Not that I don't like Broxton. Uh, I just am more comfortable with uh, Gomez there for now. And in terms of the rotation, we got Jacob Degrom, Noah Syndergaard, Michael Walker, Dallas Keuchel, Zach Wheeler, and the bullpen. We have Adam Liberator actually got him from free agency and signed him to a minor league deal. Uh, sent him up, and he's one of my seventh and eighth inning guys with Seth Lugo. Um, we also have Sean Burnett and Luke Gregerson, and then Craig Kimball and Justin Wilson. And then we got Edwin Diaz. And then for the standings here, we, as I said, we are tied with first place in the Nationals in the East. And all Central is Cardinals. And the West, it is the Dodgers. And for wild cards, a three way tie between Nationals, Pirates, and Reds. Uh, for the AL East, the Yankees are up uh, two and a half games over the Red Sox. Indians are running away with it already, up 12 and a half games. Astros are up seven and a half games over the Angels. And for the AL wild card, we got Red Sox and Angels. Uh, league leaders for National League, we have Matt Carpenter for average. Home runs. It's going to be Chris Yelich at 20. Actually, the assessment is actually tied at 20, but he's injured. Uh, Marcelo Zuna leading the way with 70 RBIs. That's crazy. Uh, for pitching, uh, we have the league leader is Jared Eikhoff with 11 wins. Uh, we have three pitchers there, uh, roughly around there, 10, 10, and 9. That's Keigel, Noah, and Jacob. And for losses, we have the Mad Bum of the only two losses. Uh, who is uh, Kenley Jensen leading the way with 26 saves and Jake Arrieta leading with an amazing ERA 1.89 with a 10 and 3 uh, record and then strikeout leaders Jacob the ground 142 that's crazy um, oh, for the American League we got Malik Smith leading the way with 332 average from uh, from Seattle and home runs wise, we have Randall Grychuk leading away 22 home runs, followed Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is leading in RBIs with 72. Uh, for in terms of uh, pitching, we got Tyler Skaggs at 11 wins, tied with Ivan Nova. And we got Shane Bieber with only one loss with an 8 1 record. Uh, saves is Will Harris 28. Rick Porcello with a 1.46 ERA with a 7 and 2. Uh, record that's amazing uh, so and then the av the awards here so I have a little bit of cold uh, we have Marcelo Zuna leading the way for the MVP right behind him is Matt Carpenter his teammate <laughs> uh, and then for Cy Young we got Walker Bueller with Noah Syndergaard on his tail um, it's gonna take Noah 
an amazing effort to catch up to him, but I think he could do it if I continue to stay consistent. Uh, Matt Carpenter, batting title, reliever of the year, Felipe, Felipe Vasquez with a 1.4 ERA, uh, with 25 saves, but where is the guy from the Dodgers, Kenley Jansen? Anyway, rookie of the year, I think it's because uh, Pete Alonso's out, so they got Kbert Ruiz here, but I'm sure as soon as I activate him, he'll jump back on there. But he has a 289 average, 4 home runs, 17 RBIs. Uh, Bob Hank Aaron Ward, Matt Carpenter, and all the Golden Glove crap. Okay, so then let's go to the American League. MVP, Mookie Betts, followed by Mike Trout. Um, very close here. Uh, just, a ho just 5 home runs and 11 RBIs difference, so he could still catch up. Uh, Tanaka, it might be the Cy Young Award with a 10-3 record with a 1.7, 8 ERA. Uh, Malik Smith with the t top batting average, so he might get the batting title. Kevin McCarthy, uh, the reliever of the year. Vlad Jr., rookie of the year. Mookie Betts, and that's it. Uh, so right now, we're going to be starting the home series Subway series rather against the Yankees. We got Noah Syndergaard versus Gio Gonzalez. Gio Gonzalez eight and four, with a three point four ERA. Noah with a two point five ERA. Uh, so it should be pretty interesting what we can do here against him. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can win this game and get a half game, maybe a full game over the Nationals. So I'll see you guys in City Field. One and two to Andohar. Got him down with the curve. The throw to first is in that's hot number one. Here in the first. With that, a look so at the that first out, let's take a look at the last for the Yankees. Here, Excuse me, the Yankees. And it goes like this. It's Miguel Andohar followed by Aaron Hicks, Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, Gary Sanchez, Glaber Torres, Didi Gregorius, Luke Voigt, and then Gio Gonzalez in the ninth spot. Career numbers versus Full count to Aaron Hicks. Pretty average results. Four for Ooh, got one to change up. That froze him nicely. To be aggressive in the zone right here. Full count to Aaron Judge. Two outs. Shot swinging. Struck out the side. And Noah Syndergaard looks fantastic right off the bat. Is that gun reading right right there? Because that just registered. One two to Gary Sanchez. On a if he's swing. Oh, actually, that's, that's a check swing. Fastball. That's it's his fourth strike out of the game. So the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt. Right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we. That's gonna be a base hit. Come out and bring the ground crew out. That's gonna be a well hit ball by Ramos, but he's gonna stay on first because he's gonna get gunned down. But that is a hit for Wilson Ramos moving Cano to second base or third base rather this is gonna be sacrifice I think he's gonna be safe at home so it's gonna be a sacrifice for uh, Jeff McNeil to be one nothing Mets Sure going to the void. Swing and a miss on a slider way outside. I'm not sure what he was looking at, but that's his fifth strike out of the game. That's a base hit by Conforto. There you go. That's nice. That's a nice hit. Looks like there might be a little rain delay here. Um, now it's rain delay for about 90 minutes. Still early in the game, so I'm actually keep knowing there. I'm okay with it. <laughs> it actually angers me because now I have to burn a pitcher from the bullpen. We'll play ball. Out of second. Out of first. There you go. At least I can end the inning on the double play. Unfortunately, it's going to be Noah's last bat of the game, but we're up 1 0. And we're going to have either uh, Liberator or. Um, who is that? Seth Lugo coming from the bullpen. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus.
focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and what? forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. You can be out. Wow. <laughs> First, I thought that was a foul ball. And they made it fair. And then all of a sudden, uh, I was able to catch him. That is a no doubter for Broxton. Into the crowd. Over the great wall of flushing. And it's a two run home run. For Keon Broxton, that's number 17 in the season. Going 394 feet. That just hung up there. A little bit in the middle of the plate. And wow. Just crushed it. Take a look at our replay here. Boom. And he turns this one around high and deep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Catches it. Broxton with great range. Catching in the warning track for out number two here in the sixth. The next to take a turn. The two two. Is a called third straight on the inside corner. Get the hell out of here, man. That was even close. Wow. Great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. Oh my gosh, man. I think that was actually Really? Get that out of here. Todd Frazier with another pinch hit home run for the Mets. I think with with myself that's a third pinch hit home run of the season. That's number five, going four into 13 feet. And he just crushes it off the bat of Jay Happ. Going 112.6 miles an hour? Is that even possible? Is that even possible? I'm not even sure. I've never seen a ball go that fast out of any park. Oh my gosh. Let's take around a replay here. Boom. Jeez, I just carried out of here real quick. Boston with another base hit. He has been vital for the Mets here. I can't say how he is in real life because he has been struggling. But in my in my franchise, he he has been killing it. Man. Killing it. Ooh, got Sanchez on that slider. Ferguson coming in. Right here comes Diaz. Coming with a 1.09 ERA, one loss. Whoever, I think, no, it's not a safe opportunity, but I'll put him in anyway. All right, base is loaded for Jacoby Ellsbury. Oh gosh, thank goodness. That's a grounder. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. That kind of gave me a little anxiety, but ball game's over. The Mets win. 4-0 uh, behind. Honestly, it was a pitching of Noah Syndergaard, and we did have that little rain delay. But Lugo gets the win. It's his fourth win of the season, I believe. Uh, and the Mets win. As I said, Roxon with a home run, two RBIs. Uh, Todd Frazier also with a home run. And yeah, it was a great effort all around. 12 hits, giving up six hits uh, against the Yankees, and there's nothing more than I can ask for. In a W. Uh, so we are now 51 and 36. Take a look at the standings here. And we're gonna, oh, we're gonna advance a day. Let's see what's going on here. Everyone says we're no longer injured. Oh, to utilize. Okay. So now let's take a look at the standings. And we are still tied with the Nationals. Uh, the Phillies are a little more back after three and a half, three and a half games back now. Uh, we really did a number after that little series. Take a look at the lineups here. Jonas is better, so we will be putting him back in left field. And that is all we need. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my uh, MLB The Show franchise, the New York Mets. If you like yourself, click that thumbs up button, and if you're new, uh, subscribe and click the notification bell. And hope to hear from you guys soon. And hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.